Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use slash execute at A or at P or at S or at E or at initiator, which is a new at E thing. Um, if block under them it, or like in front of them or anything, you're going to learn that kind of command. So it is this slash execute at at P, which is myself, if block which is right in front of me, or I like just do right like where I'm looking at, but like one block further from where I'm looking at is dirt run slash say it's dirt, yay! So now if I put a dirt clock, as you can see right here. Without a dirt block, it did not work, so it did not say dirt. So now if I do this, it's gonna say it's dirt, yay, because there's a dirt block that I'm looking directly at. And as you can see, it works from like every angle. If you're like correctly looking at it, if I can correctly just look at it. Okay, let's make it uh two, like, this let's make it like this so it can finally get why is it doing this like every single time <sighs> okay probably because it's one block low yes so the reason why it wasn't working is because you have to do this or you have to look one block higher because if you're doing that, it's actually executing from like this block lower. So if you add that, it's gonna actually look at from where your head is looking at, okay? So it's gonna look at from here, not from there. Okay, now if I just do that, there you go, it's dirt, yay. So before that, it was actually testing right there, not like at top. So for example of this is this right here. So if I want to go in, but I have to step on emerald to go in. And for that, the commands are going to be right here. It's only one command block. And here it is, slash execute at A within the radius of seven, if a block under them, which is going to be tilde tilde negative one, tilde is emerald block, run slash TP at P, which is right here. Um, to these coordinates, which is the PvP area. Um, another thing of that is these things. So, let's go here to create a station, because that's like the thing. That's the part I use it for. Okay, let's get that. And, as you can see right here, it's also a slash execute at A. So, it's looking, so this is a create station, so I do not want anybody without a key to get in there. So I did slash execute at, at A within the range of two um, has item. Anyone that has an item within the range of two. Um, and then the item is a tripwire hook. Um, then run if block under them is redstone underscore lamp run slash TP. Uh, the person who has a tripwire hook to the coordinates there and same with here and then it's just gonna set this block right here to gold so only one people can go in and when they're going out it's gonna just tp someone out if they're if a block right under them is a redstone lamp and then it's gonna put redstone lamp right here to reset it so more people can go in and out pretty smart eh? okay so now the next thing is um if you wanted to use like sl slash um test for blocks so if you wanted to do slash test slash execute at, at p if blocks so if you want to use blocks um if blocks from like negative one which is right under me and negative one are with um let's do this negative one right there 
one run uh masked run slash say hey so because the blocks under me matched so now it's not gonna match because like one uh like there see like so it's testing for the block right under me and if it matches the block right here so it's not gonna match so it's gonna it's not gonna say hey there you go so now if i just break this put that there it should say hey because it tested for the blocks well the good thing about this is you can make it so that it also can test for items inside the chest if the chests match so if I do this, if I put this right there, and if I put this right here, it will not match because it has different items in it. Uh, I think it does match. Okay, never mind. It does match. But it doesn't match if it's um, test slash test for a block, which is like this, for example. It's slash test for blocks at the coordinates of that, that, that. And that actually tests with the item that's inside it instead of... So if you just don't use slash execute, it works like that. So yeah, this is it for today's video. Everyone, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.